brought up, uh, Adrian. Um, Salvador Dali once said, a true artist is not one who is inspired, but one who inspires others. And if you look around, you see a lot of evidence of that. All right, uh, we... I met Mark for the first time when I was 10 years old. And a uh, little backstory, um, my mom and him, you know, met through mutual friends and really liked each other. And she got pregnant with me and uh, he didn't, she didn't tell him, you know, so he didn't find out till a little bit later. And I think um, just being the, just so mindful of other people's feelings, he kind of felt like, oh, maybe, you know, she doesn't want me in, in, you know, her life. And it was just, basically it was kind of a misunderstanding, but you know, they, anyway, fast forward, my uh, adopted dad was in the process of adopting me and um, we needed, needed, uh, needed Mark to sign over his parental rights, you know, so my mom got in touch with him and she came into my room one night and asked, you know, do you want to meet your biological father? And I was like, yeah, because I had so many questions. And um, so I was so excited about this. And um, at the time we lived in Evergreen, Colorado, where I grew up, and uh, Mark came to us. And now that I think about it, it was probably on his best bet. And, uh, and I remember the, the door opening and seeing him for the first time and seeing myself for the first time, in a way. And um, it helped me really learn a lot about myself and, and from there like we you know this was right before he moved to Davis um, you know so we spent some time together and then of course you know when he moved to Davis he would come to Colorado to visit the family and we'd spend a lot of time together we went to we went to the Denver Art Museum more times than I can count when he came and we took walks and we ate out at good restaurants and we, um, we talked a lot about everything and we talked over the phone for sometimes up to three hours. Um, we just talked about so much and it's amazing how, you know, knowing Mark and how beautiful of a person he was and just how compassionate and caring he was for other people. It helped me learn a lot about myself and I think some of the best advice he gave me is, you know, as you all know, there's a lot going on in the world and we talk about it. And uh, I was just talking about how it would kind of get me down sometimes, and I know it would get him down sometimes. And um, the best advice he said, he said, Jessica, you can't, you can't control what's going on in the world, but you can control your own little world and being happy. And I've taken that, well, gonna take it for the rest of my life. So I think um, all of us have learned something from him, and he touched each of our lives, and many ways and I just want to say you know we really appreciate all the support and it's really really exciting for me to meet so many people that loved him and I really look forward to talking with many of you about stories about Mark. Thank you.